Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the landforms in the middle course of a river. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. Erosional and depositional processes in the middle course of the river lead to the formation of meanders and oxbow lakes. We are going to start off by thinking about how meanders form. Water flows at different speeds in the river channel. This means more erosion on one side and more but deposition on the other. So flow downstream is affected and the faster water swings to the other side, which is known as the helicoidal flow. On the side where the fast water is, there is more erosion in the form of abrasion and hydraulic action. This makes the river deeper and cuts into the bank to make a river cliff. As a helicoidal flow corkscrews between bends, it hits the top part of the outer bank, but the lower part of the inside bend. But because it is shallow here, friction slows down the flow of the water and causes it to deposit material. This makes a shallower area of sediment called a point bar. The faster flow on the outside bend causes vertical erosion, making the riverbed deeper on this side. And the slow flow leading to deposition leads to a gentle slope on the point bar. This is called the slip-off slope. You can see this in the cross-section diagram on the screen now. As erosion continues to eat into the outside bends and deposition continues to build up on the inside bends, the meander loops will increase in size and start to move over the floodplain. Rivers with many meander loops are called sinuous rivers, like the one in the photograph on the screen. Over time, meanders can cause oxbow lakes to form. But how does this happen? As meanders migrate, their bends will get bigger through lateral erosion and the meander neck will start to get tighter, leaving a narrow strip of land separating the river channel. A really tight meander is called a swan's neck meander. At times of high discharge, for example in a flood or after a storm, the river has more energy, so it erodes a new channel straight across the neck of the meander. This becomes a shortcut which the river will now use because it is easier even when the water level goes down. This new channel then becomes a main channel as lateral and vertical erosion make it deeper and wider. Because the loop of the old channel is no longer receiving water, it will start to become cut off. And as flooding deposits more material onto the new river banks, this makes the old loop become even more detached. The old channel becomes an oxbow lake when deposition seals its two ends to separate it from the river, and only the far end of the meander will remain. Eventually it gets filled in with debris and soil and it might even have trees in it. And that concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the landforms in the middle course of the river. Thank you for watching.